In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the Taurus servo pedal. Basically, it's a boost pedal, but it also is a preamp because it's kind of filling out the sound and it's also a compressor because it's adding sustain. And of course, it's also like a BBE Sonic Maximizer because it's adding some clarity. It's made in Poland and it costs about $151 shipped to the US. Now, so you guys have reference, you put this pedal at the beginning of your pedal board. I'm running my Fender Strat into a Fender Deluxe Reverb, mic'd up with an SM57. And uh, let's go ahead and just play. Let's go ahead and turn it up even more. And this is where on the neck pickup, I think it really just sounds out. Now you feel like you're pushing the app a little harder. The, uh, the sound is a little fuller, almost like a humbucker. And you get definitely like that compressor, compression sustain thing. Yeah, big difference. Now, uh, we can take it to 10. Let's go ahead and do that lick again. Here we go. Wow, especially on the position four, listen to this. Without it. Okay. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna take it to about six, number six here, put the boost at the halfway position. To me, I could take this pedal and just a, a nice Fender amp anywhere. Let's go ahead and hit the boost to 10. Now, I like this in position four. So what I have now is I have a, a Keeley's Red Dirt pedal into a Keeley's Cavern uh, delay pedal running into my Fender 65 Deluxe Reverb. Let's go ahead and turn the pedal on. You hear it clears it up. Where I love it, go ahead again, like I said, me about five, a little past five, halfway mark. And on the bridge. This is where it really fattens up. Go ahead and turn it off. Here we go. I want to show you is how how nice the notes sound. Big difference. 
<laughs> Let's go ahead and switch to a humbucker real fast. So what we have here is a soon to be reviewed PRS Custom 2408 S2. I think for leads, uh, definitely listen again. We'll go to the next pickup on this and we'll uh, play with, well, let's do with it and then without it. Here we go, ready? And again, I wanna do full, here we go, ready? So what I've done now is I've returned back to just the clean sound. Now the question you might have is, is this just for tube amps? No, you can use it with a modeler or a solid state amp. It does the same thing. In fact, I'm going to show you by plugging straight into my mixer with the EQ flat. For this demonstration, I want you to pay attention to the LED meters on the mixer. And I want you to notice how that when I turn the pedal on and off, it's not really making the meters spike up or get a lot louder. In other words, it's just getting fuller sounding. As someone who loves EQ pedals, compressor pedals, and boost pedals, the idea that somebody kind of made a pedal that does a little of all those things is really nice. To me, it's kind of like the Echoplex preamp pedal, where it's just kind of like a thickening agent for your guitar, but it also adds high so it doesn't get muddy. The other thing that's nice is having the ability to be a boost pedal or not with just a touch of a switch. As someone who likes strats but always feels like the single coils on the bridge are thin, this was a huge improvement, and I found I was comfortable just leaving it on all the time whether I was using humbuckers or single coils. So I guess I can sum it up like this. It's built really well, it's priced pretty well, and it's almost impossible to get a bad sound out of it. It's definitely worth checking out. As always, guys, I want to thank you so much for your time today. Till the next time, know your gear.